Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the show From and that season finale and did Tabitha escape. So let's get into it. So yeah, I want to talk about, in this video, we're going to talk about Tabitha Matthews and did she escape Fromville in the season two season finale? You know, and I'm going to tell you what I think, and I'm going to ask you to tell me what you think. But let's go over what happened at the end of that, kind of break that down a little bit, and then uh, we'll get into, you know, what we think happened. So we're going to start with Tabitha and Victor. You know, they were looking for this faraway tree or what what I'm calling the bottle tree. You know, it's the tree with the bottles that can take you places. And, and Victor is taking Tabitha to this tree that his mother was trying to get to when she died so that she could get to this tower or the lighthouse so that she could try to help the children. And, and she, she believed that she could go home that way. So after a little bit of looking, Victor gets pretty upset because he can't find it. It's not where he thinks it should be. And then they hear the bottles rattling in the wind, kind of like a, a spooky wind chime. And, and Tabitha is able to soothe Victor enough that they can, they can follow the sounds of the clinking bottles and they get to the, to the bottle tree or the faraway tree. And if you want to know what I think is in these bottles, you let me know in the comments and I, I can make another video about the, the messages in these bottles if you'd like. But anyway, they uh, start talking about this faraway tree and Victor explains that you can go in the hole in the tree and it will take you somewhere. And, and Tabitha remembers Julie telling her that that's how Victor um, was able to keep them safe before in, in a previous episode. Before uh, Tabitha can leave, Victor opens up his, his lunchbox that he always carries with him and, and shows that he has packed her some snacks just in case she, you know, she gets hungry on her, on her trip. And, uh, you know, Tabitha takes the uh, takes the lunchbox and uh, she disappears into the tree. And when she comes out, she is at the lighthouse. I'm not going to lie. The first time I watched this, I was terrified for Tabitha because this show can scare the crap out of you. It is so good. And uh, yeah, it's just the scares are really good in this show. It's perfectly written. But anyway, Tabitha walks up to the door and uh, she opens it and she goes in. And, and I was beginning to wonder if this was kind of like what Boyd dealt with when he was in the dungeon. You know, is she in like another time here or something? Because, you know, Boyd had his moment like that when he he went through a faraway tree. You know, and we get the fire truck and the, the playing cards here. And you know, it makes me think that, you know, kids maybe are, are some of the kids that she's trying to help. Some of the kids that are in the show, like what is going on with these kids and do they spend time here in this, in the lighthouse? So as Tabitha continues to climb the steps, she's getting closer to the top. Something's whispered that I can't, I, I'm not sure what it is. I, I think, I can't understand. I think they're calling her something maybe. And um, she, you can, it, it's, it sounds kind of like a child's whispering voice. If you know what they say, let me know in the comments because I, I couldn't understand it. I, I watched it and rewatched it and rewatched it and I still don't know what they say. And as Tabitha climbs the ladder into, I, I don't know what you would call this room. I'm going to call it the gear room because you see all these gears turning. I guess that controls the light making it turn. Um, we hear that same child voice whisper. It almost sounds like a girl is what it says. But I, I think that I don't think I have it quite right. You know, again, let me know if you know in the comments. Let me know what is being said here because I really want to know. You know, I, I try to figure these things out, these these mysteries and come up with theories for it. And, and you know, that could really help me uh, maybe come up with, uh, you know, put a theory together. You know, it also kind of sounds like they say and gooey and gooey. Maybe that's what they're saying. I, I have to look that up, see if that's like a real word or or something. But I think they're calling her this. Yeah, just let me know in the comments. So Tabitha finally makes it to the very top of the lighthouse where the where the light bulb is. And I don't really know when I was watching this first time what I was expecting, but I know I was like sitting on the edge of my seat because I was just waiting for something terrifying to happen because that seems to be what happens with this show. This show is just a really good horror show. So anyway, she gets to the top, Tabitha gets to the top, and she walks around the light bulb and noticing the, the window. And I wonder if she was looking for Frumville, you know, trying to find the town or maybe even the house, you know, it's up on the hill. Uh, the, uh, what do they call it? Community house. And uh, trying to find that maybe just like anything to figure out exactly where she is, you know, like where she came out of the faraway tree, the, the bottle tree. And uh, that's when she hears um, the little boy behind her. 
So the boy in white appears behind her. And I've always wondered if, is this her, her, her son that, that died as a baby? That's the kind of who I thought it was in, in, in season one, but I don't think so anymore. You know, I think he's just, maybe he's just like the spokesperson for the children, whatever these children are that are in from them. But he says, I'm sorry. I really am. It's the only way. And then he pushes Tabitha out of the lighthouse and then it fades to black. After the black screen, after it fades to black, it comes back and we see that Tabitha is laying in a hospital bed. We hear the beeping and she's all bruised and scratched up and a nurse is over her. He sees that she opens her eyes and he says, uh, wait right here. And he goes to get a doctor. So Tabitha starts moving in her bed. She starts trying to get up and we can see that she's in pain. Now, is she in pain from falling or did she ever, did she really even fall from the lighthouse? Because when the doctor comes in, the doctor tells her that hikers found her three days earlier on a trail inside of a trail. So how did she get there? Did she fall from Frumville and land there? Was she injured and all of Frumville was like a hallucination? Where's her family? Are the injuries from the wreck that her family, you know, that, that they, took on when they got to Frumville and she's just now feeling the injuries now that she's back in like the real or real world if that's if that's what you want to call it if she even is yeah I don't know as the doctor's asking Tabitha questions like do you know how you got there what were you doing out there were you were you alone distraught Tabitha walks over to the window and and moves the curtains and and looks out and sees this this town, and I assume she does. She has no idea where she is because you know we don't know where she is. You know, the the doctor says she's at St. Anthony's Hospital, but we have no references. You know, like where what state that's in. We we assume that they're in the United States because they're speaking English and they sound like they're American. But we have no real idea where they are. Is this where she was from? Like before they went on the trip in the RV with her family? Does Tabitha even know this place? You know, I don't know. But Tabitha starts saying, no, 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 because I think she thinks that she got out, and she may have, you know, I don't know, but I can tell you what I think in just a minute. But Tabitha clearly thinks that she got out of Frumville and she left her family behind. And then the screen fades to black, and this time we get to credits, and it was one heck of a cliffhanger because we don't know, we just don't know. Did Tabitha actually escape Frumville? And does she remember it? I, I feel like she does remember Frumville because of her reaction of no, 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 because she, she, I feel like she does think she got away and she left her family behind. Okay, so now let's talk about what I think happened here, and then I'm going to ask you in the comments to let me know what you think happened here. So I think Tabitha, I have, to, I have two thoughts. One is that Tabitha did actually escape Prumville. She was pushed out the window of the lighthouse, and the, you know the little boy, the boy in white, whatever he is, helped her escape, and She's going to spend the, her, her part in the story will be trying to get back to Frumville to let everyone know that how she got out. That's, that's one possible theory. I think of what, of what happened here. The other theory I have is that she didn't actually escape. She's in like another, we'll say part of Frumville, if that makes sense. Kind of like what happened with Boyd when he went through the faraway tree, how he ended up in another time in that dungeon and he you know he he let the the prisoner go and it started a whole lot more trouble in Frumville for the for the people that are stuck there and you know i wonder if this is the same kind of thing that we saw at the end of of season two where boyd was trapped and then you know he, he was stuck there is tabitha going to have to have like some kind of a test or some kind of a task that she's going to have to you know to complete before she can get back to Frumville, and that's going to cause you know, who knows what for the, the people of Frumville, you know, that, I think either of those, either of those possibilities are, are possible, you know, and, and now, you know, I want to know what you think. Luckily, we don't, I don't think we have very long to wait. I think we're going to get some kind of information probably next month, maybe a trailer from what I understand on, on their, on their Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. You know, I still call it Twitter, but yeah, I think we're, we're going to get a post there. I have another video up on the channel and I will link that in the in the end screen so that you can check that out if you want to do the talks about that yeah but i i think the show's probably going to come back for season three late summer so yeah I, i'm i'm looking forward to that and I, I know if you're watching this video you are too so let me know in the comments what do you think happened with tabitha do you think she escaped from bill do you think she's stuck somewhere else like boyd was or do you think something completely different let me know in the comments 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel so you catch all of my From content. Or you can click the box on the left and that will take you to one of my previously uploaded From videos. Or you can click the box on the right and that will take you to my most recent upload. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.